Well, hi. Today, two scriptures. First from Psalm 121, very famous. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Then verse seven, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 32. Then David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight this Philistine. A preacher was once praying for some money. <laughs> he was praying for $75. In his prayers, he suggested a dozen ways by which God could answer his request, including prompting someone to post him a check or finding the money in an old coat pocket. At day's end, he had his $75, but God had not used any of the methods he suggested. <laughs> when Israel faced the army of the Philistines, no one would have suggested sending out a boy in his teens, in his early teens, with no sword or armor, clothed like a shepherd and armed with five stones in a sling. God's answer was completely out of proportion to the scale of the need. And so it will always be. God's answers will always come and they will come from unexpected quarters. God's ways are designed to confound the proud ways of man. No one expected Hezekiah to survive a siege by the mighty Assyrians. No one expected Gideon and his 300 to win against the Midianites. No one expected a boy with a basket of loaves and fish to feed 5,000 men plus women and children. No one expected God to rain manna on the congregation to feed millions of people in the wilderness. Moreover, when the same circumstances repeated themselves, no one could see how God could provide any help. The reason is because our faith is so limited by what we can see and measure. It is only with a supreme conscious focusing of our eyes on God that we may dare to believe. We are incapable of imagining how he will do it, but he will do it. We may sweat and fluster, but that will not improve or hinder the outcome. God can no more forget his children than an earthly father can when the children are crying out with hunger. We may look to the hills, but our help will not come from there. It will come from the Lord who made them. God bless you.